Well guys, this one has taken quite some time for me to build. You know, if you're a frequent watcher of the channel a while back, I posted an unboxing video of this truck right here. This is the Cross Demon SP4C and it is a full build up kit. It's their flagship kit, which means it comes with really all the good stuff that you would want in kit all in one box, but you have to go ahead and build it all up. And there's a lot of stuff going on here at the, the channel. And, uh, you know, so I took a bit of time to get this thing together. Actually, one of the biggest problems for me was, was painting everything. Just kind of ran out of paint and then had to order some new paint. And between everything going on, it just took a long time to build. And, and this kit right here, I, I have to say up front, I really think that this is for those of you that really like to build up and scale detail a, an RC vehicle. I mean, you know, you could really put a lot of time into creating something cool with these kits, the, you know, these hard body kits. And Cross does offer these in Lexan versions as well. Um, but this hard body kit has a ton of detail in it, and I didn't do it justice at all. I mean, there's still some unfinished parts to it, but it's gotten to that point where I need to show this to you guys and I need to drive this thing. So let me just go over some of the, the uh, some of the details that maybe I have missed during the unboxing portion of it. I'm not going to go over every little square inch of the vehicle. You know, a lot of uh, information will be found in the unboxing video, which I'll link to right up top here. So check that out after this video. Uh, but let's start off with the body on this. I mean, this is the big showstopper here. So again, I went with the metallic orange from Tamiya and actually did a, a flat black section in the on the hood here, which, you know, I just thought it would really set things off with the amount of black elsewhere in the body. Uh, but up front here, we have a chrome grill. I guess you'd go ahead and paint that black if you want to. That would probably be pretty neat. Uh, but I stuck with the chrome because Cross went and sent me the chrome bumper afterwards uh, after I got the kit. So I felt I had to use it. Uh, so that's why I kept everything chrome up front and, and they do give you an extra front bumper in the kit if you want to go ahead and paint that. Uh, but what's really neat about what's going on up front here is LED lights. There's actually LED marker lights down here, LED headlights, and they have uh, circuit boards and they all tie into each other. Actually, all the lighting in the body kind of ties in together with wires and circuit boards and stuff. It's very cool how it's all set up. And there's a wiring diagram in the instructions that is fairly easy to follow if you know what you're doing. Um, but there is a lot of wiring involved and even in the dashboard, which I'll get to in a minute. But the cab kind of mounts in the front and also under in the rear. So if you're remove those screws you'll be able to take the body off to access some of the stuff underneath it uh, one of the other things that's very cool about this is the hood does lift up on here it does have some magnets that that hold it down basically but inside uh, you'll see an engine cover and you know i didn't go ahead and totally finish this off yet that's one of the parts i have to finish still but again i want to show this to you guys so when you pop the hood on there, there's even a hood prop. You know, you could see some engine detail, which is, was pretty awesome. Again, for those of you that like to do some scale detail work, this is right up your alley. You do see a little of the motor popping out, but uh, you know that's okay. I mean, they did pack a lot of detail into this kit. We've got wipers that get glued on. Uh, the mirrors on here are made of a rubber, so they'll fold over. We even got a snorkel in this kit as well. And then as you can see in the bed here, we do have a, a cover with a cage. Uh, on top of the bed and, and the bed is just made of multiple parts even down to the, the the steps and the rear bumper is separate which allows you to again detail everything out the way you want to the side rails and the back tailgate on here i, I painted those black as well and there's actually a lot of detail out back you've got the cross logo and the tailgate and everything just looks really cool out back and then again more tail lights these are working tail lights they give you the leds uh with that and then the battery is actually located in the bed of this truck so there's a little hatch in there you, you turn a little tab on the hatch and you can access the battery so placement of the battery is pretty interesting i mean most scalers they're trying to get it towards the front uh, but it's in the back on here again this is really more of a scale vehicle now let me jump back to the cab of this full detailed interior inside of this. So we've got the seats and the dashboard. And again, the dashboard cluster lights up. There's LED lights in there, uh, you know, shifter knob, steering wheel, everything you would expect in, a, in an interior, even door panels. Now, in the uh, unboxing video, I mentioned that these are swinging doors. They are separate doors, so you go and pull them off, but they're not swinging doors. So you can remove them, kind of have a an open cab type of look on there. They give you the, the chrome vents for the side of the fenders. Uh, there are these decals that stick on. They're actually like a diamond plate decal decals diamond plate decals for the steps that are on, on the bed and everything and even out on the the rear bumper there's a, a diamond plate for that so i mean again lots of scale detail on here and if that's your thing this is one of the kits you should really really check out in my opinion uh, now onto the chassis of this i showed the, to you in the unboxing uh, when i got it all together that metal uh, c channel chassis 
um, it's not ultra firm. Uh, where where its strength comes in is when you start bolting everything down on here, when you get the body on and you get the tailgate on, that's when that chassis really firms up. But if you were to ever go and kind of you know, take this body off and try to put something else on there, I think that chassis might have a lot of flex to it. Now the uh, transmission in here, that unique transmission is mounted up front with the motor already set in place. And uh, you know everything seems to be working fine with that so far. Uh, you know it's got a metal casing around it, and then the axles themselves also metal axles. Uh, you know front and rear on this, they got the nice anodized covers on pumpkins and everything. Uh, metal gears inside, ball bearings, steel drive shafts, uh, universals up front, and then the center uh, drive shafts are, are also metal on this with uh, nice little uh, pin retainers on there and everything. And then there is a transfer case in the center. Uh, you know you guys have will probably see that in the unboxing video. Uh, shocks on here are all aluminum as you expect and uh, they do feel pretty good even though they're you know this truck is extremely heavy i mean this thing has some weight to it and even down to the wheels the wheels are a very heavy aluminum machined aluminum wheel um you know and uh, it is a beadlock uh, wheel as well so it does grip onto these tires the the tires on here are cross mud crawler tires they got a really nice lug to it really soft so i'm actually really impressed with this tire right out of the box all right, let's see what else did I miss. Oh, I missed the uh, the links, which uh, again, I showed you in the unboxing video, all metal links. Now here's a thing that makes me again, kind of say this is more of a scale truck that you go in and really detail versus, you know, drive hard is, you know, where the links mount in the center, they kind of drop down and there's this harsh edge. I mean, the skid plate is higher than where the link mounts and everything. And I'm, I'm guessing that they were going for the geometry on it, but there's also the factor of this thing is gonna get hung up when you're crawling over stuff. So again, I, you know, I think it is going to be a capable rig, but I think really where it's, my personal opinion is where this this really fits in is, is again, the, that scale builder that wants something, you know, to really, uh, you know, have a great time modeling. There are also metal steps on the side. I do wanna point these out because uh, these are actually a little bit of an issue for some people when they're when they're building it. They are slightly offset, so if you have them upside down, the cab won't fit on here properly. So I do want to point that out because I encountered that. Just wanted to share that. Uh, the ch the servo, the steering servo, I do have an MKS 550 servo in there for steering. That's going to offer plenty of torque. It is a uh, axle mounted steering servo versus a CMS. And and basically the way the the front end is set up on this, there's so much stuff going on in the uh, you know engine bay area. Uh, that's where all the electronics are. I don't think they really could have uh, designed the servo up inside of it. Uh, so as I mentioned, uh, the electronics are up front. I went with the Tegan BXR uh, speed controller. It's a brush speed controller, ultra small, which fit in here nice and easily. And then a spectrum receiver because I'm going to use my rugged radio to drive this. But again, overall, I mean, it was a long building experience. Uh, you know, definitely a lot of detail work. And, and if that's your thing, you know, again, this is this is really the way to go. I think you could have a lot of fun building this. And I think. The, the cost of the kit is, is worth what you're getting in here. And now it's just really, how does it crawl? I don't know if I'm gonna go crazy climbing rocks with this thing, but I'm definitely gonna hit some fun trails with it. So let's see what it could do.
All right, so this is the part of my videos where I usually talk to you guys about the performance of the vehicle, and I'm gonna get to that in just a minute. But first, I really wanted to give props to the kit itself. This is a great builder's kit. If you really like scale modeling, I mean, these kits, I think, are for you, especially the hard body versions of the cross kits. Uh, you know, they do have Lexan versions as well. Uh, but these hard body kits are just amazing. The amount of detail in them and the amount of detail that you could put into them with, with painting and weathering and stuff like that. That's really not me. So that's why it took uh, so long to create the video on this. You know, I'm more of a let's get it together. I want to go try it type of, of driver. And, uh, you know, maybe I probably should have went with a Lexan version of this. It would have been done a lot quicker. Um, but nonetheless, I mean, it is a very cool kit. And I'm going to go back, finish the, the few spots that I didn't finish off on it. Uh, and, and, you know, out there on the trail, this thing looks awesome. If you're if you're just at a slow crawl, you know, going through some, some nice terrain. I was out at a, a local park, a new park. I had to find something new for this. Uh, it was so cool watching it go over some of the rocks and over some mossy uh, hills and stuff like that, uh, up some small trails. It looks so cool, even over the bridge. The bridge was pretty awesome when I was crawling over that. Uh, just had a full realistic look to it. And I think that's what you really get out of these cross kits is you get that scale realism. Now onto, you know, how it handled it. I wasn't sure how it was gonna handle it, to be honest with you. Uh, you know, with it being a, a heavy hard body, uh, there's more weight up top and, and that could cause a lot of lean and stuff like that. But it kind of just added to the fun factor, the scaleness of this vehicle and it was it was very very cool steering wise the truck had plenty of steering for for what i needed uh i just did a lot of trail driving to be honest with you didn't do a lot of technical crawling with this uh this truck just didn't speak to me as a technical crawler but uh, it still did well crawling up the rocks there's a lot of weight to it so when i was steering up through the rocky terrain it did really well there's no really signs of uh excessive wear on the universals or anything uh it just did really well in the steering department it had that mks servo in there had plenty of power uh these these tires are also great i'll get into uh the handling of it next uh, so it did you know crawl up a lot of the stuff i wanted to these nice soft lugs on here did, did really well for traction and then the weight of the vehicle itself you know really helped pull this thing up and over a lot of the hills and the rocks now the the downside to it is is the weight so there's a lot of weight up top because of the hard body and, and those of you that are looking at a hard body you already know this uh, so you just have to be, you know, aware of, of your approach angles and your descent angles. Uh, I did roll this, uh, you know, during a descent. I kind of pushed this thing a little bit too far, you know, not thinking about the weight and rolled it and scratched it. And that's when my heart sunk because I put a lot of work into painting this. Um, so, you know, if you are, if you're not worried about your hard body getting scratched up, uh, I, I think, you know, you could push this thing pretty far. Uh, the, the only real hangups were, were the axles. You know, they, it is a standard style axle. It's not a portal in here. So you just got to be aware of what you're spanning over. I did hit a lot of rocks with the axles on this. Um, and I did, you know, scrape the center section. Uh, it didn't actually get hung up. I thought it was going to get hung up the way the links are situated, but uh, didn't seem to have an issue there. So it actually handled pretty well. And it has a realistic look to it. I love how the wheels just tuck up into the body on this rig. Uh, it just looks very cool, very scale. Um, now on to, you know, the speed wise, uh, I just ran it on 2S to be honest with you. I didn't even try 3S. Again, I was just more into the, the scale look, uh, trail crawling. I had the, the Tekken speed controller in there, which is ultra smooth. It was perfect with the motor and the 2S battery. It just had a nice smooth scale look to it. And I had the power when I needed to go up some hills uh, and, and climb some rocks uh, that, uh, you know, were a bit steep. The only durability issue I had with it um, yeah, it was my fault. Didn't uh, Loctite one of the set screws in the drive shafts and, uh, you know, it fell out. But that's on uh, uh, me, not on the truck. The, one of the doors did pop in. The, you know, they are removable doors. You can go pull this off, pull the doors off, run open uh, cab on there. I think that's very cool. And it's just a truck that I think you could continue to, to tinker with and, and have a lot of fun with and, and maybe change up the way you scale and detail it to just enhance your experience. The only thing that didn't work on this truck was the uh, bumper lights, both front and rear. Uh, I tried my best to get these things to work. I looked at the wiring diagram and uh, you know, plugged everything in correctly. There's a board up here in the front uh, where they plug into. They just didn't want to work for me. And I actually went, found a set of uh, lights from a different manufacturer, plugged them in and they worked just fine. 
Um, so I don't know what's up with these lights, why they're not working, uh, but that's the only big issue I had other than I lost the little hood prop piece and uh, that, that's really it. It's really cool that the dashboard lights up when, you know, these headlights were pretty awesome. Uh, and overall, it's just got a great look. And Cross RC, I mean, they just have a ton of different options available, um, you know, for scale vehicles. So, you know, certainly check them out if, if you're the type of, of scale modeler that wants to really detail the rig and have it look really cool out on the trail.